Look at our new home! <laughs> it's so cool! It is so cool. Look at our kitchen, yes. our cabinets, our shower, and storage area apparently. We are on our way to the hardware store yet again. And this morning when we woke up, I thought, okay, today is going to be us putting away things, finally moving in, maybe doing our mattresses, final touches. But Josh had a grand idea, which is a really good one, to build some cabinets to cover our fridge. So it'll be like building a box that slides in and out. He has thought it through. I am along for the ride. We'll see what happens. I would just like to be able to clean and put everything away and make it home before we head out. We are going to go for our test run on Wednesday to a campsite in Wisconsin. Very excited. Yep, so we got three days to get all the rest of this thing done and this thing furnished and nice and pretty. Ah, finish line. Here we go. These are blackout curtains, so they're pretty heavy. They weigh like 15, 20 pounds, and they're gonna go all the way across this. And, okay, and then the thing that we had to do is we had to use this weird little thimble hook set and then this big old eye hook here. And uh, what we tried at first was just hooking it over the hook, pulling it as tight as we possibly could, and then uh, cinching it and then putting it up there. But then when you do that, this thing just, just it sank down to like here in the middle. You just couldn't get it tight enough under load. So really what you have to do is uh, you have to get it kind of tight under load and then figure out some way to twist the whole thing to shorten the wire after you, uh, after you hook it up and put it all on the eye hooks. So if you just like hook it over and then just try to turn this little hook here at the end, it'll just keep slipping through because it's metal on metal and it has nothing to grab onto. So then we use this big thing and then what you can do is pull it as tight as you can and then you go one of these in and then twist it, twist it, twist it until it's tight. And then you kind of like save your progress by putting the next one in. And then you twist that one and twist that one and twist that. And then as you do that, the whole thing gets a little shorter, a little shorter, a little shorter, and then stays there for good after you twist it a bunch of times. And it's kind of the only way that we found to really get it to stay up and nice under any amount of weight. I just put these in just the very slightest amount that they would hold any amount of weight. And then I'm gonna run a picture wire all the way across with the shower curtain on it, get it as tight as I can, and then just tighten these bolts as far as they'll go and hopefully that'll pull it nice and tight for us. So Lisa's gonna start by pulling it real, real, real tight. Got it? Yep. Hopefully as high up as we can get it. Oh, it's I know, slipping. I know, I know, oh. I know. <laughs> and then tying a knot once we get it nice and tight. Now. So now we should just have to tighten these bolts in. Okay. Tighten these eye hooks in together until it gets As nice, a team. nice and snug. Here we go. Do <sighs> not keep slipping. Slip not. Okay, so the last thing that we did is just to get it nice and super snug after putting it here turning these all the way tight as far as they could go in here. We then drilled a screw, like we like made a loop with the uh, with the picture wire and then drilled a screw up just to take the extra slack out. And now that's looking nice and tight all the way across. Works great. Yay. Yay. Now onto cabinet building. Hmm. What I'm trying to do is build a sliding out drawer for a refrigerator. So it'll look just like cabinetry, just like the rest of this. Mm -hmm. And then what you'll do is it'll have some nice uh, slow close locking hinges on the bottom. Yeah. And then a piece of plywood on top of that. And then we're gonna have the refrigerator on there held in place by a couple of two by two. And then what you do is you'll grab it and you'll pull it and it should slide right out so you can open it real easy, get the food out of it, and then slide it back in and it'll close. Um, that's the theory. So right now I'm starting out with this wall, which will be the right side, and this is gonna be the left side of the cabinet. And then I'm gonna to need to put a piece of, over the top, and then a nice piece in front, and that's kind of what we're doing next. So it should be easy, right? Mm -hmm. Except for nothing is straight ever when you're building a van. That's not true. Yeah. Nothing. We haven't encountered that at all. Yeah. 
So every single thing we build is going to be wonky or customized in some weird way, so we just got to sort that out. <laughs> okay, so what I got are these super cool slow close uh, strong hinges and uh, they support up to 100 pounds of weight, each of them, which I'm hoping that 200 pounds total will be enough to hold that plus whatever amount of beer we end up putting in that cooler. <laughs> Um, so the way these things work is you can see there's a spring down here at the end, right? And as you pull it, the spring eventually lets go, and then the whole thing pulls out. Our plywood over here, that is, uh, this thing's going to sit on top of this. Um, we're going to mount this to the bottom of that piece of plywood and leave it open like this. And then put this on the ground where it needs to go. And then slide it closed with the plywood on top of it test that it works, open it back up, and then drill this permanently into the ground. That way we don't have to do any of this weird like guesswork of maybe the ones on the bottom of the plywood might match up with the ones in there or not. Since everything's pretty tight and the tolerances are pretty small just because of the space we're working with, I think we have to do it that way. But the best thing about this is when you close it, it just goes and then wow. automatically closes it by itself. Yeah. And then this should keep it nice and locked and closed while we're driving so that how, way it doesn't just pull open. How hard is it to pull? Um, like that. Wow. So I don't know if it'll truly keep it closed, but I'm hoping that, um, hoping that if I block off the front of the fridge, that way when we're driving, the fridge won't be able to rock. And then if the fridge can't rock, then the fridge can't accidentally knock this thing open and have it all slide open. That's what I'm hoping. I don't know if it doesn't work, we just might have to get stronger hinges, but it's the best I got for now. Sweet! So, let's, let's do this. Yeah, let's throw this on the bottom. Measure. And then I need the tiny baby screws. Tiny baby screws. Oh, baby scrolls. Okay. The bottom is going to be center of hole four inches in. Skeeters are coming out. Yep. Okay, that's the hole I'm going to go into. Try number seven? Yeah. It wouldn't be easy if it were a van build, so we are remounting the slides of these hinges and hopefully this will work we added another piece of osb on the bottom floor so hopefully it doesn't scrape against the floor as the fridge is coming out but we noticed as soon as we tried it we mounted um, the hinges when we pull out the fridge it was kind of dragging and not as fast and easy to pull out and not as easy to put back in um, so try number eight is coming up josh is moving up the bottom mounts Hopefully that will ease some of the drag and the weight that the cooler or the fridge is putting downwards. Okay, after a long night's rest, we are attempting try 80 something of the cabinet drawers, but I think Josh has figured it out. Let me show you. And by I found out the solution. I, of course, my dad told me the actual right way to do this thing. Uh, so what we were trying to do before was put these hinges that you pull out on directly onto the side of the OSB. And when you do that into the side of OSB, no matter how well you attach it to it, it starts to move under any amount of load, which is why we were getting that sort of inconsistency and why we were seeing it flex and fail and do all sorts of dumb stuff. So. The much easier solution, which means that you don't have to cut your shelf to the exact right dimensions, it can be kind of close, is just to put two two by twos on the ends here, and then um, you build your shelf on top of that. So you attach your hinges just directly to the two by twos, which are much stronger material to screw into, and then you just put your shelf on top of that, and then you don't have to measure this part to be exact. Your two by twos can just be floating in midair and uh, we'll and we'll be able to support the weight correctly. So I think that works great. Wow, let's test it out. Oh, yeah. there it is. Let's take it. Okay. Wow. Here we go. Here we 
we go. There's gonna be a handle on this thing eventually, but not yet. <laughs> yeah, it's not leaning forward anymore. So there it is, it's out. Put it back in. And it does the slow release? It does the close, yep. Wow. That's look that's looking great. Thanks, yeah. I think it works. Good work. So um just finished up the, the top shelf for yes. here. We're working on making the bottom one a little less wobbly. We put a little roller in the front of it. It'll be cool. And then once that's done, we now have this little shelf here done. And then I'm also going to put a front on this. So that way you can push it down, store put it up, in there. store stuff in there. That's Kitty right. He might even like that. I bet he would. And what we're doing is putting the legs on this table and some support beams on the bottom of it so that when it lays flat, there's some support metal braces at the bottom. It's been a little struggle. We had to basically shove this in because it appears either the OSB or the plywood expanded a little bit since we've taken it out. Um, but I think it'll work. Let's go test it. Hey, our table is installed took a little bit of measuring and finagling and screwing into the floors, but we did it! What are you doing, Josh Barter? Uh, and put any... Oh. Sorry, go ahead. <laughs> as soon as you put the hinges on it, you put any amount of... <laughs> as soon as you put the hinges on it... <laughs> It's recording, it's just a real brewery. <laughs> we'll see if the hinges are strong enough. We might have to go 200 pounders. This thing's already 40 pounds, so it means we can only put 60 pounds of food in there. I don't think we'll have more than 60 pounds of food. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, the beer's pretty heavy. Yeah. What you got there? there? Ooh. 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 Legos. Lots of legs. Yeah. 